As you know, if you've seen my previous videos going all the way back talking about the cosmic desktop, I like tiling window managers. However, it seems that desktop environment users on Linux like having tiling windows in their desktop environments. Now, as you probably are aware, I do not think these are overlapping magisteria. I think they are butting heads. But maybe for some people in a desktop environment, they just want a flavor of what a window manager is like and how it works. And maybe if it is for them, maybe they will uninstall their desktop environment or they will just keep it alongside their desktop environment and have the um, clickable widgets and all these different things, including tiling windows. Now, not for me, but maybe it's for you. Maybe you use Linux Mint, the really the most popular, I would say, um, main Linux distribution. And the main Linux distribution that is Linux Mint, let's say, tends to use Cinnamon. So maybe you're in that catch-all but you are also one of those people who are interested in tiling window managers. So what am I gonna to do today? I'm gonna to show you how you can install uh, a, a, basically a manual tiling window manager in your Cinnamon desktop for Mint, Linux Mint. And it's pretty easy. It might even be quite good to use. We will find out. So um, let's just get on with this and look at the screen. So I'm in my virtual machine, as you can see. I've got my uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon desktop running. So what we first need to do is we need to find the extensions button. Okay, so I've just, I've just searched for it in here. Just put in a search and put in extensions. Okay, and it will look something like this. Now we want to download an extension and this extension is gonna be called Gtile. Okay, and it's just updating. And if we look at Gtile, it is part of the Cinnamon Spices. So this is a Cinnamon desktop. And there's a few things here on this um, page, which I'll put in the description, but we're not too worried about that. So let's go into installing Gtile. So get it up on the Downloads tab, let's say, or the Downloads button, type it in and then we want to hit install. Now I might be correct in this, I think Gtile is also in GNOME desktop, if you have a GNOME desktop or whatever, it's probably in KDE or something equivalent, I'm not exactly sure. So that installed pretty quick, and as you can see it says tile your windows as you like. So we're gonna go back to manage, and we're gonna click on this, and I think we want uh, da -da -da, enable. So click the plus button and that enables uh, Gtile. Okay, so now we want to go into the um, configure and let's see what it says. Okay, so um, it's giving you some shortcuts here, pretty simple stuff, but we're just, we're just gonna get into it. And what I'm gonna do is I am gonna change for my virtual machine, you possibly don't need to do this, but I'm gonna change it to Alt-G. And the reason being that uh, in the virtual machine, I already have my um, super key um, on my actual desktop, so it conflicts with my virtual machine. But who knows, maybe you want alt key as well, whatever you want your super key to be basically. So that's what we're gonna do. And then let's go into behavior. Um, now you possibly and probably want animations on. I'm not an animations guy on my desktop. I want things to run as fast as possible. Ironic, I know running a virtual machine as badly as I do, but there we go, it's what it is. And you can have some automated stuff here, uh, auto close, which you can change when you're running GTAR. And then layout. So again, you can customize your button layouts here if you so want. So the span of windows and all this kind of thing. You can play around with that. We're just gonna get into using it now. Okay, so that's all done. So I'm just gonna close this out. Let's close this out. Okay, so uh, let's do the first thing. First of all, with um, GTOL, you need to actually have some windows open. Be aware you're not necessarily spawning windows like you would in a normal a tiling window manager. Remember, this is tiling really for open windows, not really 
your normal sense of a tiling window manager. Remember, this is a desktop in Rome. Okay, so I'm going to open this terminal. So let this open. And I'm going to open the files um, manager or whatever. Okay, so we've got two windows open. Now we let's arrange them using G tiles. So I'm going to do Alt G and it brings up this little uh, menu here. So the first thing we can do is we can actually select on the grid where we want the highlighted window to be. So that will be this should be this home files directory. So maybe I want it down on this first uh, quarter of the window. So as you can see, it highlights what I'm hovering over. So maybe I want it from here and I left click once and I pull the mouse down, let's say, and I left click again. And as you can see, it's arranged that window. OK, if I go uh, Alt G again, should I put screen key on for this? Let's put screen key on for this. OK, let's put screen key. OK, so I've got screen key up. So um, let's close that. So now say I want it to be three thirds okay, of the screen. So I can left click once. It's not showing mouse clicks, whatever. Anyway, and as you can see, that's brought that up. Now, um, say let's do um, our super key, Alt G, and let's say I want um, both windows to share two columns. Now you see you've got these buttons down here, okay? And you can use these two here. So this is auto tile main and list, auto tile to list. So we're treating these two windows as lists. So this should work. So as you can see, the left one, the main one has gone to the left and the terminal has gone to the right. So um, now if you're playing around with this and you don't want um, the G tile to close while you're making your configuration, um, just, oh, has that done it? Auto tile to list. Okay, this is the do not close. I don't know why it's not quite doing that. Anyway, that's your auto close, okay? That's your animation. For some reason it's been a bit funny there. Let's have a look. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that, but it seemed to be fine earlier. So just remember what I'm hovering over is actually auto close. So if I click um, one of these, it's not going to close this window, it's going to give you another option, but it's playing up, so I don't know. Let's close this out. Okay, so that's two windows. Now let's bring up, let's start again, let's bring up this one again, let's bring up this one, and what else shall we bring up? Let's have a calculator. Didn't bring up the terminal this time. Now, as you can see, I've got three on here. So let's do, let's see how we would handle three windows. So if we do the list, now as you can see, again, it's taken like the main window, given it one half of the screen, and then it's created a list of the next two. So as you can see, it's put the calculator there and the um, uh, window, uh, sorry, the file manager there. Now it hasn't literally had them perfectly arranged. Now let's see if we can do something about that. So if I want say this to take up, okay, so that's not gonna do that. Okay, it's been a bit funny about it. Don't know why. So maybe, maybe G tile's a bit buggy, but it all seems to be working fine earlier. So, um, Again, you can have grid layouts. Let's close this out. Let's close these out. So as you can see, it won't open until I have windows open. Okay, let's do another one. Let's, ha let's turn off screen key. Screen key we don't need. Let's try that. Okay, and open this one again. We're gonna have four windows this time. Okay. And let's have calculator. Okay. And what else could we have? Let's have document scanner. Why not? Let's go back to the 1990s. Okay, let's do Alt G. Okay, now screen key seems to have messed up my thing. 
So let's turn off auto close. Okay, auto close is now turned off. Let's change the grid layout. So now I can have these four here. So maybe I want this one down here. And I click twice and then let's put that down there. Maybe I want this one here. And as you can see, I can start placing as I want. And then if I want this one here, maybe there, oh, don't hit the uh, maximize. And then maybe if I want, uh, I could do, let's go to, uh, what haven't we got? We have got our file manager. Maybe I want that down there. So as you can see, you can arrange it there. Now maybe, uh, let's go by four by four. Maybe I want this, you see it's highlighted, it will shrink it down into that. Okay, maybe I want this as a line going up like that. Maybe I want this going down like that. As you can see, you can have it as much as you want. You can even go grid six by six. Be aware that I think certain applications won't minimize maybe as much as you want. Terminal seems to be fine. And then again, maybe you just want to put them in a list. Maybe you want to do it like that. And that takes all four and gives, puts them in a corner. Now you can play around with this until your heart's content, but that's really, that's really all it is, um, what it's doing. Um, again, go through extra customization if you want, but that should give you a taste of some sort of tiling windows manually, of course, it's not necessarily automatic. And of course, you've got to open the windows first. Pretty simple program, not necessarily that bad, kind of nice. Depends how you want it. I think most people would do two by two. Um, and then again, you're probably going to be working maybe with, I don't know, one or two programs. And again, it's a nice thing you can, it will stay open if you leave the auto close off. So if you're, you know, if you want to prepare stuff, and again, this is how maybe most people. The only thing that would have been nice is like a horizontal split, but there you go. If you want a horizontal split, you'll just have to do it like this. Do this. Hey, still possibly better than Windows, although I know Windows 11 has sort of introduced some sort of window management system. So I think this is pretty self-explanatory. Don't use screen key with it because screen key seems to have made it buggy, but that's fine. And then again, I can just use auto close once I've set something. There you go. So there you go. Pretty simple to use. Um, and who knows, maybe it will get you into uh, window managers. Maybe it will get you away from desktop environments, gives you a taste, or maybe this will be your workflow from now on. Either way is still possibly the better way than having nothing. So we will leave it there. And you know what to do with a fake YouTube. You can like, you can comment, and you can subscribe. And I'm gonna give special thanks now to Sean and HTX80 Nerd who have memberships with this channel, gives them early access and they get to be on the end screen. How lovely is that? I'd hope to see more of you on the end screen in the near future. Uh, if you wanna find details of that, just look in the description and uh, we will leave it there and I'll see you in the next one.